Hello, hello, hello. We are live on Instagram and the amazing, wonderful, phenomenal Ange and Robin from BBJ are going to be joining us here. We just had a wonderful get to know her show with the two girls and uh, oh, I love doing these interviews. You learn so much about people and it's funny because a lot of the people I interview I've known for, you know, some of them 15, 20 years. And I, I'm still learning new things about them, you know. We don't know everything about a person, so it's really great. And uh, if any of you watching here on Insta are artists, you're going to love this interview. Uh, these two women, their whole life is art. Everything that they do, uh, they're just fantastic. And um, I think you'll really, really enjoy listening to them and uh, and their journey and, and how they were able to do what they love full time, which is something I think we all need to hear. When I first started, it was so hard to find people I could relate to who, um, you know, were were full-time artists like and and that you could learn from and start to really um emulate and be inspired by and be able to do what they were doing like it was almost impossible there was nobody you couldn't find anyone so now we have social media we have this great platform where we can all share stories we can learn from each other and uh and you know i think it's great when you hear about how people struggle and how they get to where they're going. We've had so many great interviews. One of them is, was with Tiffany Pratt, who's watching right now. Hi, Tiffany. And uh, you can catch that on our, um, on our YouTube page or on our IGTV, whatever you prefer. I've interviewed a lot of artists who are, are born to inspire. So I see the BBJ girls, they are on the call, so they are just going to hit the request to join button, and then you'll be able to see them. They're actually in their glitter garage as we speak. I love you too, Tiffany. And um, yeah, they're working away there, getting ready for Christmas. They do these really cool uh, Christmas tree toppers where you can have like George Michael as the topper on your Christmas tree. Come on. Or the Golden Girls or anybody you love, you can have them. Uh, as your tree topper, who wouldn't love that? Excited. So yeah, you definitely have to check out BBJ, and they just launched their Shopify uh, page. So you gotta okay. check. It out. Okay. We just had some batteries. Hi, that's Tiffany okay. Pratt. Hi, Tiffany Pratt. <laughs> I was just saying, I interviewed Tiffany too. That was so funny. I, something was wrong with the audio. <laughs> And I had to like have her on a, the speaker phone. Plus, the mic was going, and I'm like, "Oh boy, this is not." But the interview was so great. So well, you got to I'm hear. Best, I'm best friends with the. We're best friends with Tiffany's sister, Chelsea. Oh, nice. Yeah. So that's I spend... what she's working with at the greenery business. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. Yeah, that is. See, we're all connected. <laughs> that is awesome. Okay, Ange. Now, I want to sit higher because you can't see Xanadu. But anyway, <laughs> I'm going to back up. There, now you can see Xanadu. So I want to know, Ange, uh, tell us about the time you fell through a ceiling, please. <laughs> uh, so 20 years ago, on November 11th, I used to do display work. And it's kind of full circle of what I'm doing now with Chels at the Killer Greens. Um, I, I made a bad decision because I was overtired. And I fell through the atrium on bay. So I fell from one level of the mall to the next level. And on the way down, I hit a, a metal rail and I shattered my ankle and a whole bunch of parts and I fractured my skull. Neither, none, nonetheless, I got work on conference <laughs> almost a year and a little bit of a sum of money for it. And um, I joined Robin because I was working in production and knew how to make things faster. So I joined Robin's team at BBJ because I was getting money and doing rehab three days a week to learn how to walk again properly. And at the time, my little teeny tiny studio was in our apartment. And so this was literally like, like what, um, no, less than a month before one of a kind. Her first oh, one of a kind. Less than a week before <laughs> my, my first. first one of a kind, which had been my goal for so long. Like, yay, I got into one oh. of a kind. And oh. I was way behind on my production. So even the night before the, the show opened for the first time, Ange was in hospital. 
Her parents were staying in my apartment. My fantastic, our fantastic friend Natalie stayed up with me literally all night making product just to have enough to fill the booth. And it was a little teeny tiny, like five by 10 booth at the time. It was, it was literally the most stressful thing I could think of. I was like, my tiny little fledgling business needs me more than it ever did. And my partner needs me more than she ever did. And trying to balance those two things, not so easy that time. And then your friend- Oh boy. Me. Yeah, I was telling, I, I just thought of this recently that we've actually had some really rad helpers that have come through, particularly at one of a kind. You know, we have lots of yeah. great friends who are like, hey, if you ever need a hand, I can help you out at the booth. So um, that very first time, Mariko Tamaki came in and helped me. And Mariko Tamaki is a writer and a comic artist who is now working on Wonder Woman. Like yes. the Wonder Woman. That's amazing. <laughs> soup. I'm super proud of her. And yeah. some people helped us in the studio once, who's also an amazing novelist. And Baroness Von sketch creator, Carolyn Taylor, also <laughs> used to work in the booth but we called her Judy because she felt like Jane Fonda nine like, to five. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, like little Jane Fonda here. Nine to five. Oh, there we go. I love it. Oh, you know, your oh, belt. Just like Judy at, at just your like, booth. With the photocopier. Ah. <laughs> and I still have a little note that she wrote that just shows up. And I guess my little cash box isn't going to the one of a kind show this year, but we have little mementos from the people that have left us things over the years. Oh, so, we're gonna yeah. miss those moments, but we're not missing yeah. all of the the crazy production, the 13 hours. Yeah. yeah, you know what, I agree. And there's a better way. I mean, my body, I don't want to put it through that anymore. <laughs> you know, every time, especially at the end of the show, I'm always like, I'm so proud of everyone at that show. When I see everybody yeah. packing up their stuff and, you know, People who look to be in their 70s packing up their stuff and moving out in their vans. I'm so proud of all of the work that everyone does to, you know, yeah. together and make it look so beautiful. But if we can't do it in real life, uh, I yeah. don't know. It seems like that, I think we've moved on from that model. We were kind of one foot at the door already. This yeah. was the 20th year. So we were going to wow. do the 20-year thing, one of a kind. And, and I, there's so much that I really love about it. And I do miss the people. Mm -hmm. But mm, it's a change of tunity, right? Oh, hey, yeah. Allie. Hi, sis. Yeah, we move. Aw. <laughs> yeah, it's true. We, yeah, you move on and you figure out something new. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> we prefer that the world didn't have to go through a pandemic for us to do it. But no. But sometimes this is how things change. Uh, so, so what? Uh, what's the hot BBJ for Christmas thing? Like, I love your tree toppers. They're so awesome. I was just saying before you came on, like having George Michael on top of the Christmas tree. Is there anything uh, better yeah. than that? Oh, George, he's a classic. Oh, uh, he's so a classic. I will tell you easily that this year it's all yeah. about Dolly. Dolly yeah, Dolly you guys did a, such a great post with the Dolly shirt and all the albums. I loved it. And my shirt, too. You did a nice post with that Olivia. We have the Dolly albums we own, actually. <laughs> Those are just the later ones because I like yeah. Um, Yes, because, I mean, because... Um, <laughs> you're busy. So we've, we have found, um, particularly because not only is she completely awesome, Yay, sweatshirt's being delivered. Um, and just just going to go take care of the uh, pure later. So, <laughs> I mean, we've been major Dolly devotees for many, many, many years. In fact, there's a few posters right here next to me. Can I move this without upsetting the whole apple cart? Steers oh, here. yeah. Night of a Thousand Dollies. We have performed up for a few years as members of the Dolly Choir. Wow. Um, Steers and Queers is put on by this absolutely awesome Sigourney Beaver, otherwise known as Lauren Horty, one of our inspiring friends. And uh, her partner, Sonia, uh, is the choir director for Dolly Choir. And so every okay. year we get to sing Dolly songs and dress up in Dolly drag and have the best time. It is literally my favorite party of the whole year. And uh, so we miss that. But we have been invested in Dolly personally for many, many, many years. And then to see all of the new stuff that's coming out and everybody else is kind of 
I shouldn't say everybody else because there's a lot of us that love Dolly. And after yeah. 10 years of being in rooms full of people dressed up and hooting and hollering and screaming Dollaluya. Yeah. There is something <laughs> Dolly extra special. That's Dolly great. Extra <laughs> special is that Dolly might be helping to save the world even more than all the other stuff she's done. Like give us amazing albums and thousands and thousands of songs. Did you know she helped create Buffy the Vampire Slayer? No. Executive producer. She's quiet Dolly, about it. She's very quiet about it. That one's just come out recently. Whoa. And the fact that she very, very early in the pandemic donated a million dollars to the Vanderbilt um, study that created the, it was the Moderna um, vaccine that they've now come out with the 94.5 efficacy vaccine. Dolly did that. Her, her million dollars, like, got it going. Yeah. Like, you know, oh, that's amazing. P.S. So, also, if anybody needs to know a little bit more about Dolly, that podcast, Dolly Parton's America, the podcaster, the guy who did it, it's exceptional in terms of quality deep dive podcast. And his father is that doctor that is in charge of that study. So he was, um, he treated Dolly Parton after a car accident many years ago. That's how they became problem. friends. And then, then yeah. Problem. That's what led to the podcast. That's what led to the donation for the vaccine work. Oh, and then also she's got like a Christmas album coming out and just dropped a Netflix special, you know. Yeah. Like wow. Yeah. That's amazing. And a book. And a book. Oh, yeah. And a book. Yeah. Oh, my God. Book. How old is Dolly now? Uh, Do you know? 70. I think she's the same age as my dad. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Um, and my also, I mean, she's in, she's in excellent shape, but please wrap her in bubble wrap because... This year has taken enough away. We need her safe. Yes, so, we do. Yeah. Oh my God. Have you guys been to the States to um, where she's, Dolly, Dolly it, is it called Dollywood? Yeah. It's on the list. Yeah. It'll be oh, there's while. Wayne. That's my husband. Hey, oh, Maddie. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I sort of, I went off on a tangent there as I do when I talk about Dolly. Um, but the Dolly tree topper seems to be the thing that People from someone from Nashville, Tennessee, found us this morning with a photo saying, "Hey, did you make this?" And so tell she, so so Robin goes, "How did you find us?" Right? And she's like, oh, she, she she said saw. that she saw Dolly Parton tree topper by someone else. So then she started looking for that one and found us through a couple of listicles. And I'm like, I didn't know we were on that. Okay, yeah. so oh. the internet can be such a marvelous place <laughs> if you stay Can't in the darkest <laughs> corner. <laughs> <laughs> that is great. Look at all the hearts. You're getting lots Hi, of love. Hi, Faye. Lady Bear extraordinaire. Aw. Oops. Now I'm writing some. Oh, this is great. Yeah. Um, I love all the Dolly thing. This podcast, though, I want to listen to that. Yeah. Do it. Dolly Parton's America. Yeah. It came out last year. Okay. Oh, sure. What? Speaking of podcasts, so... Robin, I'm the same as you. When I work, it's mm -hmm. podcast central, like all. So, but I'm really addicted to male com comedians. That seems to be like, I'm like all about the Conan, the um, Mark Marin, Dak Shepard, okay. even Alec Baldwin. I'll go there. I, I don't know. I love, yeah. But so, you know, I guess for the laughter and the silliness and it's pop culture, right? They're interviewing yeah. their coworkers and, they're talking about the old days at SNL and all that stuff, which I love. But how about you? Like, what is your go-to for podcast? The, the, the latest one starts that I, with the news. I, I do. It <laughs> starts with the Daily from New York Times. And I was but, like, no. Oh, we learned that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> there's a really, really great one I just discovered uh, called You're Wrong About. Okay. And they go, so they do all of these really interesting um, stories about, well, you know, maybe you heard that, but here's You're the wrong. actual research um, that we've done. Oh. So it's a male and female co-host. Um, one of them writes for Huffington Post. They, I, that was the, the Princess Diana one. They did You're Wrong About Princess Diana over like five Six, episodes. And they specifically did it because they're like in the middle of the election and this, well, we just want to talk about dresses and outfits and things from the 80s. And it was it was meant as total escapism. Wow. I was in, totally hooked. Um, and then the one I listened to yesterday, several episodes of Decoder Ring, which is a Slate podcast. And it's usually about an hour long and it's a deep dive into some 
like little cultural mystery. So I listened to the one about the Cabbage Patch Kids oh. and the Cabbage Patch Kid riots and how they were created and how they were marketed and all of that stuff. And then there's a music one that you listen to all the time. Oh yeah. And two episodes about Jane Fonda's workout. Fascinating. Again, that's why the Jane Fonda and Dolly on the belt buckle today. And Jane Fonda actually, and through, through this is Jane Fonda actually oh, yeah. started the, phys the, the, the exercise empire to fund her social justice work. And that's really? definitely where Olivia got it from. Yeah. Working on the trends. Also, oh, yeah. Fonda once ordered a bunch of cufflinks from us. Yeah, a Barbarella, one of her first movies when she was married to the director at the time. That's so yeah. great. Yeah, well, she was when she was when she made Barbarella. She was uh, um, married she, to Roger Vadim, but she was doing a Broadway show on um, in New York at the time called Seven Variations. I think or nine. So we got this. We were doing drop shipping for um, a Montreal-based website. And we saw this name and we're like, the buyer's name is Jane Fonda. And there were like seven <laughs> pairs of Barbarella couplings. Is that for real? And we, we Googled the address and it was the theater where she was performing. So of course I wrote like a little love note in it. <laughs> which was just Good for you. Uncool, but that's okay. Oh, so did she I send you a so picture or anything or? No, we just knew, but actually the, then the other Broadway story is that you, the, the, the movie Hedwig Hedwig and the Angry Inch that started as a Broadway show with John Cameron Mitchell. Yeah. Familiar. Off Broadway. Off, I've and, heard. Of, and then yeah. it went on Broadway yeah. where they brought it back with um, Neil Patrick Harris as the star. So again, an order comes in and it says Neil Harris. And I was like, um, this seems like a Broadway address and again. Looking for a Hedwig and clock? Looking for a Hedwig clock. So yeah. we're like, it must be him. So then we eventually found a picture of him tweeting from his dressing room dressed up like Hedwig, and you can see our clock in the corner of his dressing room. So, oh, that's so, so cool! So, tiny pop uh, culture wins, tiny little pop culture. Yeah. yeah, it's so great. Are you guys still doing the clocks? Uh, we, we will, we can do hang on. It's more of a made to order thing. Yeah, so now we don't have to fill a booth. We've yeah. still got many behind us, as you can see. There you yep. go. Yeah, and that's a custom that was so much fun to do. Do you know, this is just the best because not everyone knows what that means. That's why I love it. <laughs> and we've already started roller skating. But it goes with this. ONJ. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's so fantastic. I'm so happy to know you guys. Monica, well, you're, 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 very you're just... Super you're positive so positive and you're really you're you're a big community connector we talked about that earlier but i'm i'm really yeah. impressed with the all the work that you did to put the stuff together oh thank you well i'm so glad you guys had the time because i really wanted to talk to you this week because i know we both would have been like you know waving to each other blowing kisses as we were setting up our booths at one of a kind or and now we're doing over this. your counters, like telling you stories about the scorpions or like a yeah. cycle, right? Oh, yeah. that's another podcast you got to listen. Oh, that's to. a oh, great my podcast. God. Wind of change. Wind of change. What's that? that? The oh, about episode. the scorpions? Yes. yes. Wow. It's like Cold War politics. There's the Monsters of Rock tour. There's Manuel Noriega in there. So you God, know, you know bananas. the scorpion song, the wind, wind of change, right? Of course. And so yeah. they. they they really kind of dive in that it was a CIA, um, a psy, a psy ops, they a call psy it. ops of cultural psy oh. ops too. Like, that it was like breaking down communism and pushing democracy into the West via a scorpion song. It was this, someone in the CIA took credit for it. And there's this whole podcast that trying to unravel that. this Is rumor. It true? Is it true? Oh my God, it's fascinating. Wow. Love it. And didn't that song come out just around the time as, the wall came out? the wall out? was going down, yeah. And it was a okay. massive hit in Europe, like, like way different than yeah. it was here. Yeah. yeah. Like, what? what? Well, uh, I was there in, I went to Germany in October 89 to work for my dad's best friend in his restaurant. I was there for four months and the wall uh, came down when I was there. And I remember that song, like that was... Huge. Yeah. Oh, listen to the podcast. Die. You're gonna love it. It's so okay. Good. And I also oh, need to listen to that artist that you sent me, Ange, that does um, that sings. Ma it was it magic. Okay. So Which well, you know, Kylie Minogue. Kylie Minogue has a new album out. Another beautiful, fantastic Australian. Oh, it's Kylie Minogue. Okay. Yeah. I thought it was like somebody new. Like I didn't know <laughs> when I read that. Okay. No, no. She's got a new album and it's called Disco. Yeah. So she's got a new album called oh, Disco. 
and there's a song okay. called Magic, and I was like, oh, look at Olivia Newton-John, Magic. You should listen to this song. It's a fun disco album. It's kind of like pop poppy yeah. and bubbly and kind of like light, light and, and sparkly you know. for oh a, i love it the world right yeah. now because i'll put some billy eilish on once in a while but oftentimes i'm like yeah have some you light some please you need something happy you know which album i love for that is the madonna's disco album that she did confessions on a dance floor oh god just the madonna like madonna would stop doing what she's doing to her face i mean it's your what choice, the hell but... I, I don't know. I sent her an Instagram picture yesterday. It was I was like, oh, man. It's like, oh, I'm off with the fillers. You're looking like a cat. Well, me and <laughs> yeah. many of the people in the comments were using the alien emoji. So. <laughs> <laughs> so now, everyone's got their own choice in how you see yourself and stuff. I'm like, just stop now. And I mean, I'm... we all know Dolly. She's... She is unabashed about her plastic surgery. Yeah, she has to be yeah. careful, too, because there's a little bit of a, like, a... Oh, yeah. uh, a joker mouth happened. I kind of wish we would see what she really would have aged like, but that wouldn't be Dolly. That's not her. No. no. Or, not nor Jane presents. Fonda or like, but like, yeah. there's <laughs> no, I'm all pro like choice. Like, do, you know, do whatever like, you need to do. Smooth for yeah. heads, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Smooth. Are you gonna be like Dolly? That part of anything is sag and bag and a dragon. I get it nipped. Well, I got new boobs this year, so there you go. <laughs> sure, I'm not opposed. I don't want major plastic surgery. I don't want major, but I like little, little, little. Touch you like surgery. little pick oh, me up more now. Yeah. Little yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pick me up. <laughs> I know every time, this time of year, this gets more and more like this. Your what the yeah. fuck wrinkle? I know. I That's what we call it. It's the what the fuck wrinkle. What the fuck? Yeah. Did you ever, my mom always said, and my Oma, they were always like, keep doing this for your neck. Keep no, stretching it. Up. Oh, oh, yeah. Up. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. I think uh, aging, I, aging is a privilege. I'm happy to be here. So I'm like. Yeah, and to me, you guys still look like it's it, we're, it's 1999 when I look at you, uh, ladies. You're so nice. Like in Xanadu, all, remember? Half a century. Oh my God, half a century. Yeah, <laughs> you're almost there. More than a century. And that's when you reach for that. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember in Xanadu when he says it's 1946 all over again? That's how I feel about you when uh, Gene <laughs> Kelly looks at Olivia. It's 1999 all over again. Um, well, if I can well spent, spent it there, that's okay. Tonight I'll we're going to party it. like it's... Yep. No. <laughs> yeah, Y2K's got nothing on 2020, eh? Right. Oh, yeah, I, yeah there's a You're Wrong About episode I've been saving about. You're Wrong About Y2K, Y2K. bug. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so what have, uh, what have you guys got going on for the rest of the day? What's happening? Custom tree toppers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we opened up a little Etsy shop that's, that's just strictly custom stuff. <clears throat> we may have gotten in trouble. We got kicked off of it. Uh, yeah. I remember. It. Yes. So now <laughs> we're just doing custom stuff on Etsy. And mm -hmm. some days it's harder than other days, but you know that you're making stuff for people that are going to be part of their yeah. rituals and their lives. Often, like, Rob, when Rob first started it, like, we, we sell them as memorial tree toppers, like the angel on top well, of your tree. It just started as custom, and then we started realizing, like, oh, lots of people want them as a memorial thing for someone who's passed on. And the pet ones are a little bit less hard, although it always, it always makes me cry when people lose their pets on Facebook. Here, it doesn't feel quite so harsh, but sometimes, because you're like, look at this cute dog, and hilarious, it's wearing a hat, and people yeah. feel amazing, like, Great dog photos, cat photos, and then there's joke and then there's joke ones of people sending like you know a pic picture of their ass to their friends on the street. So, but just, like, <laughs> Are you but kidding me? But then there's really difficult ones. There's really difficult ones where Robin is yeah. very, very very kind at, at talking to people because you know they've lost, and it's not just lost their grandma. They've lost their children. Yeah. And they oh my god! Really, One week it was a bit hard. There was several kids. Um, really the photos. And, and people tell you these things. So it's like long distance emotional labor with glitter underneath, which is weird, yeah. right? I would never wow, put myself bro. in that position. But also, I, I feel really honored that people trust us with their photos and, and yeah. we're making something for them to, to be part of their Christmas celebrations. Um, to That's amazing. Forever. 
Yeah. Yeah. It's, so. it's kind of an odd niche that we stumbled into, but I do take it seriously. Even though the days sometimes you're like, this is oh. a terrible picture from a crappy old flip phone, but I know it's really important. So I'm going to do my best. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a little more, like, like, and people want to share and they yeah. want to like, tell you a little bit of the story and then you, you get to. <laughs> Carry on, yeah. hold on to that for them as well. So it's amazing. I had no idea you guys were customizing to that extent. Yeah. yeah. So like, so wow. we, reop we reopened Etsy last October when we discovered after we got kicked off that we actually had another store <laughs> that we could reuse. Oh, so, good. And um, so then, and then so a year later, our our sales have increased four hundred percent on uh, great on. But that. I believe that both of these actually started as custom orders too. Ah, uh, we've got a beautiful. Print so these started beautiful. out as things that people requested at one point, and we're like, yeah, some. Ooh, but like this we'll is like you. this is a cool one. This is a ball. Yeah. yeah, this I is a ballerina. This beautiful. beautiful ballerina, and then these guys lost both their dogs this year. Mm. Oh wow. Oh, and that's then, so and then this little guy passed away, so we made a little. So we get to do that thing for people, so that's kind of like where we're at. But sometimes it's yeah. rougher than other times. That's so. where that's a lot oh. of what's happening today, and some other orders. There'll definitely be some Dolly Tree toppers. Yeah. Wow. Well, I know what I'm gonna do now. With God forbid, when our little boink decides to, she'd look good on there. Um, she, have you ever seen our dog? She's no. a she's half Jack Russell, half Pug. <gasps> They're called Jugs. Yes, I have seen. I I've think seen. I have seen a picture. Yeah. Not real life. Yeah. I should well, get you to do it while she's still alive. Then she can admire herself. You, yeah, you, it doesn't have to be for just yeah, it doesn't the have memorials. To be <laughs> there's still there's still lots of the uh, the the live the, the live subject matters. <laughs> exactly. Oh yeah, there's lots of people oh. who are just like here's a funny thing or here's my adorable dancer niece or whatever. I don't know. No. Yeah. Do you guys remember you made me a like way back when I had I think eight girls working for me and I had a Christmas party and you guys made us pins with the Glam Jewels logo yes. and then we had like rhinestones coming yeah, out yeah, right. yeah I love them and my threes company belt buckle I love that you you it's been all it. yeah so <laughs> much fun there's, there's <laughs> lots of things that we've made over the years I still find stuff and I'm like did did I make that oh yes I did. <laughs> Someone even sent me a thing that said, oh, I think you made this thing. And I was like, no, I don't think so. And they sent a picture. And I was like, oh, yeah, I totally made that. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Make some stuff over 20 years. You're not going to remember absolutely every piece. Yeah. It's a lot. Have you ever counted how many pieces? Have you, did you keep track that way no. or no? No. No. Oh, I wish I, I had. I do some math based on okay, the yeah. ones that we bought, but I Math is not the thing that I'll, I enjoy the most. Yeah, I'm gonna no. easily say about 50, at least 50,000 pieces by now. Yeah. Is it, Sorry, see what your hands can do? Is that wild? Yeah. Yes. I love it. Oh, you guys. Okay. You know what? We're yeah. probably going to make some 2020 ornaments as well. Oh, we have. I have. A oh, one. yeah. So I don't know if you, you saw this one. The, the roller coaster. Yeah. Inside of my heart. Yes. It's going to be an ornament too. Because, you know. Even though we're not going to actually want to remember this year, there you might as well mark the and yeah craziness. Exactly. Oh my god, these are great. <laughs> so, so there'll be so four of those as well, and uh, we would have put them on the tree in the salon if anyone was coming through there. But I guess we'll just sell them online. Yeah, and you're gonna sell tons. So everybody has to go to bbj.ca and. Get your Christmas tree ornaments. Mm, thank you. And they're tree toppers. Tree for Christmas ornaments. <laughs> Chip -ray, yeah. Chip -ray. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it should be craft for 2020. <laughs> yeah, I'll, throw, I'll throw it against the wall first and then put it on a ribbon. No, Let me ribbon it, put it underneath a hammer and send it, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, that's great. It'll look like you're, you're old off on screen. I look like my old phone screen, exactly. <laughs> you guys thank you thank you thank you so much thank you this thank is you. delightful to um, talk to you monica let's hang yeah out so good to talk to you too and i cannot wait till we can see each other and hug each other again and 
I can't wait to see like the transformation of what's going to happen in the next year. You know, yeah, it's right. going to be yeah. more yeah. things have yeah. only just begun. Yeah, right. Change opportunities all over the place. Right? Yeah, it's going to be great. Yeah, oh. enjoy your day. Keep drinking the champagne. Uh, I have wish. an extra one for me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Thanks everybody so for joining in and yes, seeing us. You. Yes. And listening to our nonsense. Yeah. And good luck with all your orders and your advent calendars, Monica. <laughs> thank you. Oh, you know what? We have comments that I didn't even acknowledge here. So, oh, Do you want to hear the comments? I've seen some of them go by. I think we've seen some of them. Bye. You saw them? Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Will Arnett's uh, podcast also is good. If you like, I don't know if you like him. Funny. I like uh, him. It's him, Sean Hayes, and. Um, Jason Bateman, they do um, oh, cool. a podcast called, to to that one. Okay. oh, it's so funny. It's called, uh, yeah. Wayne will say what it's called. I can't remember now. Uh, oh, 90210 MG. Okay. <laughs> Maddie's talking about 90210. Uh -huh. And, uh, oh, and then Wayne said, you're wrong about debunks the, oh, stories of the past. That's what you listen to, right? Yeah. 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 Is, uh, is Wayne the Gravesyard? Yeah, he's yeah. the great yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, Wayne. Oh, God. Yeah, there's lots of great comments. Maddie and Wh Eddie Izzard, Hedwig. Uh, oh, Eddie Izzard and Hedwig. Wayne loves Eddie. Yeah. We went to see Eddie live. Oh, cool. Uh, yeah. Okay, we got lots and lots of comments. Okay, this is good. All right. You guys saw them. I'm happy. It's weird. I don't always see them. Like, they kind of stand still, but... That's good. Okay. I love you. I love you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Monica. Take Let's care. Again. Okay. You yeah. Have a good time. You too. Okay. Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for all your comments. I really appreciate it. The BBJ girls saw all the comments. For some reason, I can't always see them, but I appreciate them so much. I'm so glad you took the time to listen and learn from these two amazing entrepreneurs. Make sure you check out the Get to Know Her show. I will be uploading it to IGTV later today. And I wish you all a very happy, healthy, wonderful rest of your day, week. Those of you in Toronto who are sitting in lockdown right now, my heart goes out to you, thinking good vibes and sending all my love to you and stay safe. We will talk to you next week. Bye for now.